Well, last night we were in Melbourne to see Melbourne take on Cronulla, and Luke Phillips made his debut as an NRL referee. Of course, Luke, uh, another of a former first grade player that has uh, taken the whistle up and has made his way through to first grade. Well, Melinda Farrell spent a week with Luke talking about the transition from being player to now first grade referee. It's one of the biggest steps in a young player's career, the moment they hit the big time, their NRL debut. And it is at night that Dylan Farrell will remember for the rest of his life. In contrast, there's generally little fanfare to welcome the first-time referees to the Premier competition. But when a former NRL player like Luke Phillips takes up the whistle, you can guarantee there'll be plenty of interest. Yeah, pretty excited. It's, um, yeah, it's something obviously I've looked forward to doing since I started. Everyone obviously wants a referee uh, in the NRL like you are as a player. You want to play in the NRL. So when I first started cadetship three years ago, it was definitely something I aimed to do. And this weekend um, finally comes forward for me. After a successful career spanning four clubs, Phillips' playing days were cut short in 2003 by injury. And for the next two years, the Premiership winning fullback went back to park footy and spent time with his family before an unexpected idea was planted. I was at a Roosters function one afternoon, you know, going back as an ex-player and Gus Gould actually got me here and said, look, you know, why don't you try refereeing? So I was playing park footy, you know, I was getting a bit stale on my footy and I was getting bashed week in, week out there and I just basically had enough of it. So I thought, you know, maybe it's something I could do. So I went and approach uh, Robert Finch and um, it all started from there. From there it took just one junior game to turn the idea of donning the pink into a burning passion. I remember my first game I was still worried thinking you know, is this what I want to do you know like I'm actually a referee now I went out the whistle and my first game I you know, read the rule book briefly and wasn't sort of sure I was only out of 13's game but just from that first game I thought man this is really good I really enjoyed it and it, um, thought something you know, I could maybe pursue and um, go well at. Phillips' intimate knowledge of the game saw him fast-tracked on a cadetship and he was soon joined by another former NRL player, Henry Perinara. But interestingly, the biggest challenge for Phillips was the rule book. As a player, you think you know the rules, but there's just so many that you don't. And obviously going on the field, if you know, something happens, you need to know, you know straight away what, what that ruling is. So. Um, that was definitely the hardest thing for both Henry and I. It took a long time. While the NRL is keen to see more former players join the ranks of the officials, not all of Phillips' old teammates were sure he'd made the right choice. At first, I think I was mad. I remember talking to Anthony Mitchell and he just said, you're crazy, you know, but now that I'm doing it, they actually think it's good. That, uh, and they think that, you know, obviously more players should get involved. Um, you know, it's another avenue once you retire to keep fit and stay involved in the game. You know, and there's probably other ones out there thinking, you know, maybe that's something I could do, but it's, it's definitely worth doing because it's, um, it's not what you think, you know, from all the publicity and all the bad raps it gets. It's actually quite rewarding and it's a, you know, challenging job and, you know, it's just another avenue to stay involved. The referees have been heavily criticised this season, but the doting father of two-year-old Mia isn't phased by the prospect of intense scrutiny. I think just knowing that you've um, made the decisions all correct, obviously on the, on the day, like there's always going to be you know, the so-called 50-50 calls that you know, one side of the team aren't going to be happy with, whatever, so that's just football, you know, so as long as you get your you know, decisions right, uh, you can come off the field and, you know, knowing that you've, you've done the best you can. And he may also be grooming the first professional female referee. And what does a touch dad say? Out. What's he say? Out. And what does the pocket say? Marker. Marker. The former rooster had a taste of top flight refereeing in the inaugural All-Stars game in the preseason, and he's hoping his experience as a player will give him some valuable advantages. I think understanding what players are going through in different times of the game, you can read that. Um, also the, the actual flow of the game, you can sort of read where the player's going so you can get into position a lot of it to make calls. Um, yeah, and just knowing like when players are trying to, you know, milk penalties or they're trying to, you know, cheat here and there, you can you can sort of relate to it and you can, you know, where to draw the the line in the sand. It may not have been a vital game in terms of the twenty ten premiership, but there was still plenty of anticipation in the referees room at Amy Park. Our referees tonight, it's a big night. For the referees tonight, Ashley Klein is the man who's in charge and on debut, former first grade player, making his NRL debut, Luke Phillips tonight. Uh, 
Well, it's harder than I thought. Yeah, a lot faster and uh, a lot more intense than all the stuff I've got. But um, well, it's good to get the first one out of the way. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, it just live up to your expectations? Yeah, definitely. Like, it's, uh, you know, it's a big bug out there, the crowd, and the players sort of lift the occasion. So it's, um, it's as different as I thought it would be, but uh, it's definitely enjoyable. Yeah, it's awesome. And now, do you want to just get back out there again? What do you think? Yeah, definitely, yeah. So well now, if we can have a game this year, maybe, and uh, if not, you know, next year, maybe we uh, train hard and things go good, I'll get a few more games. No, another great story there from Melinda Farrell and uh, Luke Phillips were there last night. He got away unscathed from his uh, first great debut. And I suppose one of the advantages of uh, this two referee system, which I must admit I'm not a huge fan of, is that it does allow the, them to blood these referees in, a, in that pocket situation, they call it, where he doesn't have to do a great deal. To ease, yeah, ease referees in, in th that situation, I agree. And also, that was a, a, a low-pressure game, wasn't it? Two teams that aren't going to be featuring the finals. Um, it's another step up when you've got a lot more at stake in some of the big games, so that's a good way to get him ready for it. And the interesting thing there that Luke mentioned is that it was a lot harder than he thought it would be, and, and learning the rules is something that uh, is not easy because they are quite intricate at times, and some of them don't make a lot of sense. Well, yeah, but we all have trouble with the rules at times, and there are so many different calls and I know nearly every week you pick me up on something that I get wrong in the rule book. That's the well, problem yeah, when you commentate with someone who knows all the rules. Not all of them, but some of them are a little bit strange. But we good luck to Luke Phillips. I hope uh, his career continues to blossom. And Henry Perinara, another one. Uh, and maybe some more firmer, former first graders may take the opportunity in the future to become referees. And they may not all make first grade. Just because you finish playing, there's certainly uh, plenty of junior associations that would love to see former first grade players come back and referee park football. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'd love to see it when my, my boys are playing. You, just, uh, you wonder about the standard of refereeing sometimes. Did it all help? We will take a break here from Canberra Stadium. As we go to the break, just a reminder, not that you need to know, because there is only one place you can get rugby league seven days a week, and it's right here on Fox Sports.